we're asked to carry out this calculation to the correct number of significant figures. Now, we need to be a little bit careful. This involves both multiplication and subtraction. Because it involves mixed operations that have different rules, we have to be careful and keep track of the number of significant figures in each step of the calculation. So I'm going to start by doing the numerator. So I need to figure out how many significant figures I have. The rules for multiplication and division are that whichever number I'm multiplying or dividing that has the least number of significant figures determines how many significant figures I can have in my result. So the first number has a decimal point, so I start counting from the left. As soon as I get to a non-zero number, it and everything after it is significant. So not significant, not significant, the four is, so this number has one, two, three, four significant figures. The other number does not have a decimal point, so I start counting from the right. Again, once I get to a non-zero number, it and everything after it is significant. So not, not, not is significant, so this one has one, two, three, four. Both numbers have four significant figures, so that means my result can have four significant figures. So when I punch that into my calculator, I get one, oops, I get one, one, four, seven, one. Now, I've written down five significant figures here, so that's too many. So I need to get rid of that one, turn it into a zero. So let me go to my eraser here. There, now that number only has four significant figures. Now for the denominator, we're subtracting the numbers. The rules for addition and subtraction, uh, in these case I don't count the number of significant figures, I look at the decimal places. The number that has the least number of decimal places determines how many decimal places my final result can have. So I like to rewrite it when I do addition and subtraction a little bit. So I'm going to write this as 102.5 minus 5.321. So this makes it easier to see. The number that has the least number of decimal places is the first number. I only know this one to the tenths place, so that means my result can only be known to the tenths place. When I punch this into my calculator, I'm going to get 97.179. I can only have the answer to the tenths place, so I need to drop these last two, but because this one is a 7, I'll round up, and so this becomes 97.2. So I can put that up here in my denominator, 97.2. All right, so now I'm dividing. So I use the rules for multiplication and division. The top number has one, two, three, four significant figures. The bottom number has one, two, three significant figures. So my final result can have three significant figures. When I punch that into my calculator, the three significant figures, I get one, one, eight. So that is my final result with three significant figures.